Hey, how you doing? Announcement! Um, I recently picked up the coolest tablet computer in the world. No! Ugh, thank you, Thwomp. Actually, I picked up a Nexus 7, and um, I'm going to be reviewing that at some point in time. I might also be doing some more Android stuff, like Android-related stuff, tech shows and things like that. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you. Um, anyways, let's just go ahead to the team preview for this battle. So this was a battle against Hidan, and what really struck me about this battle was that it was good. It was haxy at times, but it was still good. And I think you guys will like watching it. But anyways, as you can see, his team is pretty balanced. It's half defensive and half offensive. And um, I'm going to need to hit Registeel and Swampert pretty bad before I can get through to his other Pokemon. Gligar will also be a problem because of his high physical defense. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to keep uh, Miss Magius and Arcanine alive. Because those are my top special and physical sweepers, respectively. Arcanine's actually my Scarfer, but that's beside the point. Registeel, I don't expect my Registeel to play quite a role in this battle. So I'm going to need to um, use Arcanine as my physical powerhouse. I'm not going to see too much use out of Melodic or Bronzong, I think, because uh, those are defensive Pokemon, and his is mostly defense, so I'm going to need to break through his walls before I do anything. In any case, let's just start the battle. So he leads off with his tough mutter as I lead off with my mini face. And... Swampert is quite a tough mutter, so this Air Slash doesn't really do that much to him. So he backs out of there and goes into Registeel to take the next one. And, yeah. Old Ironside took that like a boss. Now, I don't want Togekiss to get paralyzed, so I out of there into Bruiser, my own Registeel, as he goes for the Thunder Wave. So I predict that Thunder Wave nicely, and Registeel is not at all bothered by it. So basically, he switches out of there into the Bird because Darmanotan basically just flips birds at everybody, that's what he does. And, um, he goes for a Flare Blitz. That doesn't kill because I got plus one defense, and it wouldn't have killed anyways, but anyways, yeah. It just does less damage. Let's just put it that way. So I kill him with Earthquake, and now Swampert comes back out, and I go for Scald, and I go for the Earthquake trying to damage him, but it does not do that much to him at all. So I guess I try to go for Curse on the next turn as he goes for Earthquake. But I get paralyzed, and so that really stinks. Stinks like skunk vomit. And um, he goes for Earthquake again. So that's the end of Registeel, which kind of sucks, because he kicked so much ass that last video I had of him. And um, I go for Aura Sphere, predicting Registeel to come out on Togekiss, but he goes for Scald instead, and I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I go for Air Slash again. That takes out Swampert. And now he decides to send in Registeel, and I'm like, okay, this isn't really going to kill, so I switch out into Melodic to take the um, Paralyze, because Marvel Scale makes it so that if you're status, your defense goes up. And since um, Melodic is my physical wall, that's kind of handy. So he goes for Thunder next turn, and I'm like, what? Thunder on a Registeel? That's novel. Um, so I go for the Scald, he gets burned, and stuff. So now I send out Philadelphia the Bronzong to take the next Thunder, because I don't really want Melodic taking it, but it misses again, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, Thunder is accuracy is piss. So I go for Light Screen as he switches out the Gligar. Now he goes for Agility, and I go for Reflect, anticipating that, um, that he would attack with some sort of physical move. I thought this was a Sweeper at first, but no, it's not. He, uh, it's actually a Baton Passer. Which is kind of weird. But whatever. It seems to work for him well, though, so... Yeah. I switch out to Melodic. As he goes for Roost. Just trying to keep Gligar al alive and healthy. And he goes for a Baton Pass on the next turn. And switches out to Mian Chao. I go for Scald. That does a significant amount to Mian Chao. And, yeah. So Light Screen wears off. And he goes for Drain Punch. And I go for Scald. That finishes off me and Xiao. Or Psycho Punch is his nickname. Yeah, I can barely read these. 
I really need to make my project monitor bigger. Anyways, he goes for high jump kick. That does not do a whole lot to me because Marvel scale boosts defense when I'm status, and I'm status, so my defense is boosted and stuff. And he switches out to Registeel, or rather, sends in Registeel because me and Shao died. He goes for Iron Head, and I get paralyzed, which really stinks. Again. He goes for Thunder. That does quite a bit to me. But I get paralyzed again. And that really stinks. So I got paralyzed twice in a row. So I switch out of there, trying to preserve my Melodic, and I go into Bronzong. Bronzong takes that Thunder like a champion. And I don't really have much else to say. He goes for Thunder Wave. That paralyzes my Bronzong. I'm not sure why he went for Thunder Wave here. I guess he just likes para hacks like that other guy on my Snorlax video. Or I'm guessing this is like a para flinch set because he keeps paralyzing and going for Iron Head. That's probably what he's doing. Alright, so now he brings out Empoleon. I get paralyzed again as he goes for Scald. I try to set up that light screen. He goes for Ice Beam. That doesn't really do that much. I get paralyzed on the next turn, so that's like, what, five times I've been paralyzed now? Yeah, I'm not keeping track, I'm just like, estimating. So anyway, Skull takes me out, and I send out Miss Magius, because Miss Magius is packing Thunderbolt. And I go for that nasty plot. Skull does not do that much to me at all, because I'm behind screens, but it does burn me, which is like, dude, no. So I go for Thunderbolt, kill the penguin, and that is really freaking awesome. So now he brings up Old Ironside again. I go for Hidden Power Fighting, that finishes him off. So now his only Pokemon left is Gligar, and I can probably take him out with a Shadow Ball. So I go for Shadow Ball, that knocks him down to le less than half. Mispagius dies, he goes for Agility. And so I send in Melodic to try and finish him off with a Scald. And he forfeits. So yeah. That was the one thing I didn't really like about this match. He basically just left and quit. But um... I did enjoy this match otherwise though. So that was pretty fun. Alright, see you all next time guys. Bye.